What if everything you perceive, everything you believe to be real, is nothing more than a construct of your own consciousness? This is the provocative question posed by philosopher Mulat Tazabu, who suggests that our consciousness is a prison, a matrix-like simulation that binds us to a perceived reality while concealing the true nature of existence. Consciousness, in its most elemental form, is the state of being aware, of experiencing and interpreting the world around us. It is the essence of our subjective experience, the lens through which we view reality. But Tazabu contends that this consciousness, which we assume is our tether to reality, is in fact a masterful illusion, a product of our own minds. Inspired by the brain in a vat thought experiment, Tazabu postulates that our consciousness generates a simulated reality, not unlike the premise of the matrix. We are, he suggests, trapped within this simulation, unable to escape the confines of our own minds. Our thoughts, perceptions and experiences are all products of this virtual reality, convincing us that we exist in the real world when we are simply prisoners of our own consciousness. This perspective turns traditional notions of reality on their head. Tazabu argues that what we perceive as external stimuli are in fact fabrications of our consciousness. Our minds construct a simulated environment, complete with people, objects and events, to provide the illusion of an external world. This simulated reality is so persuasive that we cannot distinguish it from what we believe to be the real world. Furthermore, Tazabu proposes that our consciousness not only creates this simulated reality, but also imposes limitations on our perception and understanding. Our consciousness acts as a filter, selectively allowing certain information to enter our awareness while blocking out the rest. This filtering mechanism restricts our capacity to perceive the true nature of reality, keeping us confined within the boundaries of our own consciousness. To escape this prison of consciousness, Tazabu argues for a profound shift in perception. By acknowledging the illusory nature of our reality, we can start to transcend the limitations set by our consciousness. This awakening, he suggests, is the key to unlocking our true potential and experiencing the world beyond the confines of our simulated existence. While Tazabu's perspective may appear radical, even discomforting, it provokes crucial questions about our reality and the limits of human perception. It compels us to question the very foundations of our existence and consider the possibility that we are living in a constructed reality, a product of our own consciousness. To sum up, Mulat Tazabu's perspective on consciousness presents a compelling argument that we are living in a self-made prison. Our consciousness crafts a simulated reality, limiting our perception and understanding of the real essence of existence. By recognizing the illusory nature of our reality, we can begin to break free from this prison and explore the infinite possibilities that exist beyond the confines of our consciousness.